not trying to jinx you, bro, but uh, <laughs> you got to know about the street. Yeah, yeah. I've, heard, I've heard about it. Uh, I'm not superstitious, so we're all good there, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's all about just taking care of the next one, uh, one at a time. And that's been my mindset all through last year, you know, years before, um, whether, you know, I have a streak of one kick or however many I'm at right now. Um, you know, it's a, just all about the next one, what, what we can do to help the team. How do you stay composed? I mean, you know, we stay composed and even yeah. kill on every kick. How do you do that mentally? Yeah, I mean, I, a lot of it's just the preparation. I mean, that's kind of the role of the kicker, punter, you know, quarterback even. You know, there's a lot of positions out there where no matter the emotions of the game, how big the moment it is, you got to do your job just like you would in practice uh, or those big moments. Um, and, you know, if you get too high or too low, it's hard to, you know, cons be consistent. So that's where I try and, you know, stay kind of even keel throughout the whole game. So I believe this is about to be your like fourth, third or fourth game in Arrowhead Stadium. Yeah. How do you deal with the crowd noise and all of the things that come with that as a kicker? Yeah, uh, I mean it's definitely part of it, but I mean I, I've done a pretty good job, especially in these last you know few years as I've gotten older. You know, getting used to those big environments. I mean I played in SEC football in college, you know, so there are a lot of loud stadiums there as well. Um, but you kind of learn how to block it out. And I mean, it, it's always fun going on the road for us as a team too. You know, it's kind of us versus the world. And you know, you gotta be smart about your communication and because it, it, does, it does get loud in there. But um, you know, we do a pretty good job of preparing, doing all the things we need to so we can, you know, control that uh, atmosphere. You're talking about uh, playing SEC football. I know you have uh, another family member still playing yep. SEC football right now as we speak. Exactly. Uh, how you feel Brooks been doing this season? Yeah, uh, little, little brother's been doing good. So, um, you know, he, I think he's, it's exciting. He came off an of ACL tear last year. So, you know, he's still getting back to healthy, I think. But um, cheering him on and cheering the Auburn Tigers on uh, day by day. So first of all, just how did this opportunity come about and how exciting is it for you to be here? Um, really just sitting at home waiting for a chance. Um, got the call, came up here, had a pretty good workout, and, and that was it pretty how, much. How tough has it been for you to watch games on Sundays? Oh, man, it, it's been very tough from, for the past seven, eight, nine years, been preparing for those Sundays and then being at home. It was, it was kind of a challenge, but, you know, I stayed prepared, so ready for the opportunity. What has the first couple of days of practice felt like for you trying to get into the swing of things? Uh, so trying to get my legs under me, um, flying from Florida, getting in, get right into it. Um, legs kind of heavy, but um, playbook wise, similar to what I ran in Miami my first couple of years. So um, that's that's coming along well. Just just got to get myself in, in, in football shape. Obviously, they're down to four receivers in the active roster now. I mean, have they talked to you about maybe coming up for Monday? And how quickly could you be ready to actually do that? Oh, man, that's all I love to coach, man. Yeah. I don't have no worry for that one. But how, how quickly could you be able to? I mean, would you be able oh, to Oh, man, what they need me to do, I came in ready to play whatever they didn't need me to play, for sure. How tough is this system to pick up? Um, like I was saying, it's, it's similar to what I ran in Miami my first my first uh, couple years in Miami. So not too different. A yeah, couple of terminology changed, but, you know, just come in and get to work. Hey, don't let this be a regular. This is our locker room. For sure. <laughs> Um, how how, uh, how have you been welcomed kind of into the locker room? Oh, uh, man, it's been great. Um, the guys welcomed me with open arms. It's, it's been a, a blessing to come to a team like this, a locker room like this, for sure. When you look at the weapons that this team has, you know, what, what, what do you think? Just how explosive can this offense be? Very, man. It's, it's, <laughs> for sure. Never mind. Uh, right. My, my, that part. My, my guy said um, no comment, so no comment. Keep it regular. For sure. <laughs> I mean, you've been in Miami, so you guys, uh, you guys played uh, the Raiders a couple of times while you were down there. When you look at uh, this defense, you know, what was your thoughts on it before you got here? Oh man, just the history of the defense. I feel like it's, it's been like that since forever, and I think uh, the coaches here does a great job of preaching that to the players. And I think the guys come in and, and wear that on their shoulders. How good is Keelan Cole as a teammate? Oh man, he <laughs> he's the best man. He, he's a great guy, man. One of the guys. I ask him any question I need to ask, he's going to give me the right answer. So to have somebody like that on your side, it's, it's a good thing. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.